been chopped our silage this year. Trouble with it being chopped is it does tend to fall off the spikes before you get the net off. But can you pull that out of there? Go on, pull it. Pull it like you mean it. Not quick enough. Can you move that string, Splodgelet? <coughs> Don't rub it on him. Chopped up soil, it's good. Look at that gorgeous bit of stuff. Ah, a couple more in there. And I'll be happy all weekend. Look at him, tip of the sword. if you have repulsive habits. You teenagers, you'll pull on anything. What do I want that for? Oh, I don't know. Either. No. Is he going to be quick enough this time? No. Slice the belly out with a Stanley. around the back. There you go. Oh, I don't like 
in one bed, does it? It's all chop silage. Get off their food! I'll bring one, I'll get another one to put in that ring round the corner. Yes, I am filming. I hope I am. Yeah, it's clicking, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have a bit to download tonight. It's Friday night, so fish and chip night. Jason's lambing, so he's uh, on the farm, so he might as well do a bit of downloading for me. They're gonna have to show me how to do it. They've been doing the downloading for me, or uploading, or whatever you call it, onto the channel. But, Yeah, we're doing it between us, haven't we, mate? Yeah. Team effort. You young pups, you do like climbing on things, don't you? Hey. Bugger, double bugger. I pulled that one up, didn't I? Bloody stuff won't stay together. Why don't I get that in there? I want to just sit this soilage on top. A craftsman can do it. was my wallet he was catching. <laughs> nah, they're good lads. They earn their own money. They don't bother me for any. I ain't got any anyway. I'll keep spending it on machines and tools and things. Since George has left, I've had to buy a few tools for the workshop. But we're about sorted out on that now, so I'm hoping that, yeah, I'll spend, I'll spend about £300 on tools, so few bits and bobs so that they got the tools there to do the job. Last time I gave him a Stanley knife, he cut his hand open. So I hope he can manage this day today without doing it. His mum will think I'm attacking him out. Stabbing him up. No, it's been an eventful few weeks and uh, 
I think we've, uh, well, I know we've, we're on top of it now, like, you know. Uh, everybody's pulled together and must admit having another driver's been a little bit of a help. I'll probably have a chat with him about tonight because he hasn't driven for a couple of days now, so might see if he can do the night shift. do that his mum might be watching. He'll probably bang his head on the way in anyway. So. I hope you young pups are behaving yourselves. I hope, uh, I hope um, you're uh, learning lots and listening to your dads and one thing and another. So I always listen to what they have to say. I know I'm repeating myself. But always listen, you never know. You might find something there you can use. What you do is you listen to us, find something you can use, and then put your own spin on it, and then you claim it as yours, you see. But really, you got it off your old man. But that's life. Pass the knowledge on. He is a handsome lad, isn't he? He look gorgeous. He's a beautiful boy. I suppose that makes me a proud dad, doesn't it? You've got to be proud of him. You might not be all the time, but as long as it's 90% of the time. Bring him up well with a bit of respect for our elders. The trouble is, they do tend to do silly things, don't they? Half the time it's all right, but occasionally they'll do it and it'll just go shit wrong and uh, <laughs> they end up with bleeding or something. You know, there ain't really a lot we're going to be able to do about this bit in there. Anyway. We might just have to let that drop in and pull it out when they've let the food from around it. He's trying hard though, isn't he? He's giving it his all. Yeah, that's it. We're looking forward, we're looking forward to the carving season, you know, it's nice to have new babies on the job. Four-legged ones as well as two-legged ones. What's the time? It's four o'clock, so time's marching on. I better go and sort this job out. I've had a job come in, I've got to go and sort it out. All right, I don't, um, there are those bales to sort out, but you want the top grab on, and the really wet ones have got to go up there. And, um, and then sort through the ones that are slightly wet with the wet bottoms you can put over here for the cattle and the other ones put them against the stack for now all right and that straw lorry can you burn it by the part, end of the chasers there and just park it by the end of the shed out the way all right so the other lorries can park there what yeah you're done done with that trailer now. I don't know, you want to just back it down there and wash the sides and the wheels off and then park that up and put your tractor away. All right. Right, I'm going to sign off got myself 50 tonne of road planings and uh, I've got to lay them on the yard. I've got the old 3CX there. I'll, um, yeah, I've got 50 tonne there, 50 tonne of road planings there. I've got to lay them down with the old 3CX. She's a bit of a flavour but she gets the job done. What I'll do is I'll put the camera in and do a bit of filming of that. But that's it for today folks and uh, we'll speak to you on another, another time and uh, yep, yeah, thanks for watching.